are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Coyotes will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Quick feed to Keller. And he gets just enough to keep it out. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Makes a move in front. Denies them in close. Even though goaltenders get set in their butterfly positioning, they still have to be agile and be able to move across their crease. Right there, that's evidence of it and with that beautiful save. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Shot, grabs him with the glove. Got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. Arizona's crossed the line and on the attack. Shot! Oh, what a paddle save on the play! And another stop! Chris is a great goaltender who understands where the threats are. And this one's in the slot area, and he manages to get to position and make the save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Newmanin's body language says it all. He is frustrated, and anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. He tries to feed it over to Kachuk. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Suter. Oh, a lights out hit in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Prosser. And that's blocked in traffic. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Puck set in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Moves it to Stahl. Here's a shot. Scores! Goes in. That's 
that's a hard shot. The goaltender looks like he was just getting to position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. Past the halfway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Coyotes win the draw here in the neutral zone. Passes over to Keller. Slides the puck across to Champion. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Keller's gained the line and on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves inside! Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The frozen miss gets dropped and we are back underway here. Tosses it on to Johns. The Coyotes will play from the defensive zone. The Wild have possession along the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. They're able to open up this one-timer by moving that puck around the offensive zone. He gets set to position, James, and he's ready for it, and he lets it fire, and it goes to the back of the net. Minnesota's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Kessel's going to play against the half wall. That opportunity is rejected. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Well past the midway mark of this period, Minnesota's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Scooped up along the wall by Koivu. And that's poked away by Yandel. That'll create some separation. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. And that's off the stick. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Shot! Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! Steps into the offensive end. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Across the line, along the left wall. No room for that one to get through. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Picked up along the boards by Jersey. And he connects with the long ball. Oh, he can to bring the physicality tonight. With possession along the wall. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Sends it over to Champion. Here's a short pass to Johns. Oh, a clutch save! Johns broke the tie earlier, and now he's looking for more, James. He loves to attack the net. Joseph's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the later stages of this period, it's 2-1. Granlin's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Fantastic save! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Minnesota's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Scores! Pop and bottles for a Selly. What a shot. That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? James, a top cheddar shot that just sends the water bottle assailing. 
I love this play. It's a great compete to get to the middle of the ice and gain position to be able to get your hands. A great hand-eye coordination to be able to deflect the puck into the net. Minnesota's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Arizona's got it behind the net. Slides it quickly to Michelli. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Grabbed along the boards by Niederreiter. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Quick shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Opening face off here in this second period is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Coyotes are trailing in this game simply because they haven't had the puck. They've been chasing it. They haven't found their legs. Listen, you have to play aggressive. You have to attack if you want to win the game. Looks to make a play over to Johns. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. From the right side and up the middle. Drops the anchor. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Schmaltz. The Coyotes are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And he's going to slow things down and hang on for the whistle and the fans on their feet. Oh, well, yeah, as he covers up, everyone knows the save that he just made and the opportunity he presented for his team and everyone giving a standing ovation. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this and momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Joseph's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Now over to Koibu. Centering pass! And he denies that great opportunity there. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! Break out the clutch here on the ski lift because that's four unanswered. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. Man, I would love to freeze frame that shot, James. Ah, the torque on his stick to be able to get that shot off with that amount of force, incredible. The Wild have a lot of firepower, and we're seeing it firsthand here tonight, Cheryl. Look at the score here uh, early in the second. I know, they've been manipulating their opponent at will here, completely chasing the game. They just can't get to the puck first. And listen, this is a lot of fun to play in when you're in the offensive end, because it is a playground right now. A chance in front! Scores! He put it in himself! He tried to make the save! I don't think he knew where it was! Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. The Wild have looked as dominant offensively that I've seen all year, Cheryl. Yeah, and they're having a ton of fun out there. It's easy to have fun when the puck's on your stick and you're executing. Just gotta let it ride and keep it going. And now it's grabbed by Gostas Bear. Quick feed to Granlin. Oh, excellent. 
excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Trying to make a move and the puck hops away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Takes the feed. Rocks him on the play. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Oh, that'll make his teammates take all alone. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Malamaki's in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, but you got to get off. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Takes possession off the draw. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. And that's intercepted by Prosser. Directed over to Enroth. They've got numbers. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Tees him up. And that's off target as it hits the body. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Swap up. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Enros taking it from his own end. And the puck's kicked free. Picked up along the wall by Jones. With the stop. He is so difficult to beat when he drops into that butterfly positioning and gets scared to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. Silverberg's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Minnesota's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Joseph. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And that one stopped. Chris has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. More than half the period has expired. Well, one team sure came to play tonight. We've got a 5-1 game. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Puts it on there. Quick stop by Joseph. Pass across to Kerfoot. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by DeBrusque. Sends it over to Burns. Cutting to the spot. Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. Into the offensive end now. Great reach with the poke check. Minnesota's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Swats it out of midair. Quick pass across to DeBrusque. Arizona's gained the line and into the zone. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Good stand-up hit on the play. The Coyotes have it now. Levels him with the hit. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Plays the puck up ahead. Minnesota's looking to break out. Tries to get the puck over to Enra. Here they are on the attack. The Coyotes look to start the transition game. Long pass up ahead to center. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Puck scooped up by Niederreiter. Right up Main Street and on the attack. That's blocked by Joseph. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. He's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is that tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. Lays the body into that play. And down he goes as the 
the puck goes free. Michaels got it along the wing. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Minnesota's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Minnesota's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. This one includes denied by Joseph. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he makes the save on that play. Moves it quickly over to Keller. And he gets on. Teams ready in here for the face-off. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Slides the puck across to Michael. There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Coyotes really haven't played well for 40 minutes of play, James, and they need to change the mindset, refocus in this third period if they want to get back in this game. And it's going to start with puck retrieval, having some urgency around it to be able to... They score! A huge goal to try to shift the tie! The Coyotes are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Michael. He grabs the puck here at the point. Denies the shooter on that play. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position, and once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Champion's got the puck in his own zone. Odd man rush to his teammate. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. Minnesota's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that's turned aside. From the right side, they gain the zone. Arizona's got the puck against the half wall. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. He was locked in there. And he's ridden off the puck. Arizona's moving it into the offensive end. Uh oh, and a poor rattling hit right there. Well, certainly was lined it's up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Well, he's having a tough time out there, James. You can see it on his face. He's really labored. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. 
And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here, still applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing them the love. Minnesota's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. Slides the puck over to Burns. Excellent stick work on the play. Feeds the puck to Lundberg. Rocked him! Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. Taken along the wall by Niederreiter. And he takes the feed. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Takes the shot. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save because you know what fans of He scores! And someone's beaten up with his second of the night. Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. Minnesota's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Skates to the crease, and it does it. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. And a nice save there as play continues. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Here he is with the backhander. Puck picked up by Yandel. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And he slides it quickly to Palmanville. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Takes the feed. Fires it on net. Comes up with the stop. Oh, and another save. Gostas Bears got it in the defensive end. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Blocked in traffic. Taken by Hayton. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. He got all of that hit. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Boom! Oh, wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. Arizona's player will not be returning to the game tonight, James. And this is difficult. Now the coach will have to manage the bench. They'll be playing with a player short, and so they'll all be tested here down the stretch. Huge test of endurance here for the final minutes of this game. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Coyotes have it against the wall. Through center. Thunderous hit in the wall. Off the left wing and into center. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. The Coyotes play it along the boards. Oh, puts it wide, and oh, you know he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. Sends the pass over. And that pass is redirected. Slides it across to Burns. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one. 
James, a great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Silverberg's played hard, guys, and he's even manufactured some offense in this game. I'm giving him my vote for this matchup tonight. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Joseph. The Avs are up next on the schedule here on this homestand, and you know, I'll tell you what, you talk about traveling fan bases, they have one of them, so if there's tickets still out there, you better jump on them before it's filled by a rival opponent. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Michaels on the attack in the offensive zone. Oh, stick save and a beaut. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Moves it to Michael. Minnesota's top line looks like... He scores! It's the rookie again, and that's the hat trick! Well, and it's away, James, and I don't think it really matters where it is. When you score three goals, it's a night you'll never forget. shooting but instead he pulls off the deep gets the goalie to bite and then slides it in right by the post what a special moment here for the youngster with his first career hat trick and and I'm sure there's some proud parents watching right now, too. Yeah, I mean, and the athlete himself. I mean, just proud of his performance tonight. You're never expecting to get a hat trick or anyone on the ice, let alone a rookie. And that's going to be a huge confidence builder. And you know that the coaching staff loves it. They're finding a guy that's got a knack for the net. Minnesota's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. A big time late in this third. Koivu's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Newman's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Here's a short pass to Newman. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. Moves the puck along the half wall. Makes a save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Minnesota's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Koivu's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Newman's moving the puck through his own zone. It is never easy when the home fans turn on you, but they've got no one to blame for the with this performance tonight. Scores! And there it is! Number one of the season! That's a great way to alleviate pressure and expectations early. James, you get on the board and guess what? You hope that the floodgates really open. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Koivu's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. And that's all she wrote on that one. Johns drops a Hattie en route to the win. A Hattie it was. I'm telling you what, the opponent had no answer for him in the offensive zone. He dashed, he dangled, and he scored. Thanks so much for joining us from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Wosobalski. Good night, everybody.